Okay, there's going to be a link down in the description. Dropbox link to download this folder. Zipped. Um, if this is the first time, you need to run Minecraft. You need to create a .1.14.4 profile folder. So you need to run. If you haven't, if this is the first time you're using it, you need to run and create the folder. So the files can modify the folder. Once you have this downloaded, we're going to hit extract all. I've included the Java, the latest Java version. It's recommended that you have the latest one. Uh, when you try to install this fabric installer, if it tells you that it can install it, it needs to find, you know, you need to locate a program to open this with. It means you don't have Java. You got to install that first. Okay, but what we're going to do, we'll go ahead and open this folder. Extract all. We're going to go to run or Windows key R data sent sign. Okay, now we're going to go into our dot Minecraft folder versions. I'm going to drag this in here. Probably not going to have this many profiles, may just have one or two. Doesn't matter, just drag this in here. I've already put it there. You double click here. Everything's right. Install. Because it's done. You'll notice it creates a folder. Modified profile folder here. So we're going to back out to the dot Minecraft folder because we got to come back here in a minute. Um, now you want to run Minecraft and select this profile. You should have the profile in the list now you want to do this if you've never installed any mods you're probably not going to have a mods folder right off the bat so we want to run this when you launched minecraft if you didn't see the modified profile it's a fabric installer you did something wrong you should see that in the drop down menu I'm just going to boot into the world here. I'll probably do this without doing this part. But I've always done this every time I install a mod. I just go ahead and make sure that the profile creates any kind of folders that they need to create. Now I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to completely close Minecraft. Now I'm going to go to this mods folder here. Right click on this mods zip file extract all you just want to drag these into this folder that's it now when we load up minecraft our fabric loader profile should see right here this number may be different than yours uh, what you should do is go into options controls scroll all the way down here you're going to see mini map controls where it says waypoint menu that's where you click um, there's there's not going to be a hotkey here I put you so when I hit you it's going to bring up a list you can change all these by the way but when I when I hit you it's going to bring up the list of waypoints so I can look at them turn them off or on delete them edit them so the, to bring up your menu, them, that'll bring up the map, the menu. You can change the settings and stuff. Uh, to create a waypoint, wherever you're standing, you just hit in. Uh, the waypoint menu will be you. And then zoom in and out on your mini map will be Z. So I'm going to go into the game. Now if we hit M, we should have the map. All of the stuff that I have marked, you can see it here. We go into options. Um, we can change the size of the map. The map's going to be pretty big when you first load in. I like the, the regular size. I didn't change any of this stuff. Of course you can, but it's up to you. Um, while I'm standing here, if I hit in, I can create. 
a thing. If you, if you enable this, this is going to turn it off so you don't see it when you're out walking around. Puts a little beacon. Like you can change all this stuff, you know. Whatever. Now you can see it there. As I get further away. Uh, you can see it there. If you hit U, you'll bring up your list of waypoints. You can turn them off, edit them. Uh, like I said, Z controls the zoom on the map. You can zoom out pretty far. Uh, if there's any players nearby, you'll be able to see the character's head running around on the map. You can track them down. But yeah, that's it. Enjoy.